Hey guys, what's happening? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab. And what I want to go over in this really quick video is polarizing filters. So in this example, I have the B&W 72mm Circular Polarizer MRC filter. And I'm going to mount it up to the Sony RX10 Mark IV. There's many different polarizing filters to choose from, many different brands and stuff like that. But the higher quality ones tend to use better coatings. And B&W is extremely well built. It uses high quality metal and really high quality glass and that's what I use for all my pro work. I'm not going to show you how a polarizer filter works in this video. I'm just going to show you what it actually does, you know, when you compare it with and without. All right, there's plenty of videos on how they work and why they work, and you can study up on that. All right, so make sure you clean your lens first before you put it on. You don't want any dust on the front of your lens element, you know, in between the filter and the lens. And you want to also make sure the filter is clean. I'm using a microfiber cloth to do my cleaning. And then basically you just thread it on the front of the lens. In this case, I'm using the RX-10 Mark IV. And once it snugs tight, you can then rotate the filter. See here? Now you can actually spin the filter. And I'm not unscrewing it. It's on there tight, but it also spins. And that's very important. You need to do that depending on the angle of the light, etc. So the filter does cost a little bit in light. So it is putting tinted glass, basically, effectively in front of the lens. And it works out to 1.3 stops of light lost. But you actually do gain detail. All right, so here in the lab on the left, you can see how the chips and the circuit board have quite a bit of glare on it. And on the right, you can see most of that glare has been canceled out. Same thing with this Minolta lens cap. So as you can see here, I'm actually rotating the filter while recording video. And you can see the glare. It like pretty much goes away, and you can see through the water, and then the glare comes back like heavy. So polarizers can be used to even out blue skies and landscapes in particular. And you can see here as I rotate the filter, you could see how the polarizer is affecting it. So you just dial it in. So a polarizing filter will also reduce haze and blue color casts in landscape photos. And you can see here how the color is significantly altered when using the filter versus not using the filter. Here you can see the glare, a huge difference. And here's just a landscape. Note the sky in this particular image, how the sky is a little bit more blue. And by cutting the haze, you can see there's just like more detail. And notice on this guy here, the colors just have that, they just pop a little bit better. It's just a little more crisp. It adds like an extra like 10% crispness to the photos, I would say. Something like that. And then it really cuts down on glare. So that's pretty much what a polarizer filter does for you. This particular filter goes for about $65, but there's a number of brands, a number of different polarizing filter solutions out there. But I highly recommend the B&W brand, and that is actually what I use for my pro photography needs. So that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you got something out of it, and uh, please have a great day. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch up with you later.